Hey you! You love video games but you never heard of game art? I'm going to tell you what it is in a few minutes. Ready? Go! In simple words, game art is the visuals and the audio elements of a game. Everything that you see and hear in a video game is game art. Its aim is to give shape to the design of a game and make the experience readable and significant for a player. Game artists are responsible for elements such as characters, environments, effects, animations, interfaces, music and sounds. The three important components for game art are communication, storytelling and consistency. Let's break them down. Game art must inform the player about how much health you have, where to go or who's the enemy. It must make clear if we have hit the boss and if our spell has succeeded. In other words, game art has a functional purpose. Game art also conveys to players important information on the world of the game, facilitating the immersion. If the music suddenly becomes ominous, we know that we are approaching a tough fight, and pieces of the environment can tell us a lot about the setting. This is called environmental storytelling. So, game art has a narrative function too. Lastly, game art should be consistent, so that the game has a cohesive art style. It must look and sound appealing and believable in the context of the game. It must have attractive values to stimulate the players. Game artists use various techniques to achieve these elements. There are different art pipelines for 2D and 3D games which have developed through the years and are still evolving along with technology. In the industry, game artists usually work as a team, collaborating under the supervision of an art director, who follows the project from its conception to its completion. Concept art, modeling and sculpting, rendering, shading, texturing and so on are specific stages of an art pipeline. But each game and company have different structures, and there are also games made by one artist only, pixel art, Cell shading, hand drawn, and hyper realism are examples of art styles that a game might adopt. Do you have questions about game art? Write them in the comments below. Remember to like this video, subscribe, hit the bell for updates, and share it with your friends. I will soon post more about how to become a game artist and how to announce your creativity. So stay tuned. See you in the rabbit hole.